60 yeah. seconds. You got it. No problem. Stay straight on. Yeah, it's flying in. Okay, can someone get that? Yellow jacket. <clears throat> All right, sorry about that. Buzz, I need a sound check from you. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, anyway, his wife check, woke check. up. Can you hear me? Uh, okay. 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 Hey, okay, everybody, everybody, everybody. Hello, people. You. How you doing? My name's Cookie. How many people are playing the game with us today? Well, I don't know, but I know that they're famous, and I couldn't really go look at Oh, them. poor you. You don't have any friends today. Oh, well, let's have your name. Okay. Uh, one other thing. Are you looking for a full 21-question game or more like, uh, you know, a seven-question dealie? A thousand. We can do this with a lead 30 seconds. No one asked for that. Five minutes ago. Okay, your buzzer is letter B on your keyboard. That's B as in uh, bring home the bacon and fry it up in a pan. You know, that whole thing. I was totally a skateboarder, and it was just me and Christian what Slater were skating. Buzzing? Can we and turn now that he's down? like, 20 seconds. Star, but of course, you know, he likes to still talk. Like well, probably. heads up. All right, listen. When a question pops up, you got to buzz in. Then you pick your answer from the screen, and you have to hit the right key that corresponds to it on your keyboard. You follow me? Ten seconds. Good One luck. second. Hold on. Nine. Okay, stand by, everybody. Eight. Let's lose a desktop. Seven. Thank you. And Six. go to black. Five. Great. Two Four. graphics. And stand by. Here we go. Tap water. Taste the memory. Good. We're starting. All right, go ahead and pick one. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. This category is Lucky It Wasn't Greased. And 1,000 bucks is riding on this question. Hey, my scanner just kicked in. All right, let's listen to the police report. Suspect allegedly made off with porcine assets and fled scene. By the time he was apprehended, suspect had consumed the evidence and vigilante justice had been taken. Who's the suspect? Johnny, who went to the fair, the man from St. Ives, Tom the Piper's son, or the old man who played nine? And over here, we have the right answer. Tom, Tom, the Piper's son, stole a pig and away he run. Have you ever tried to run while carrying a pig? It's hard. <laughs> Never mind how I know that. Take your pig. What do you say? Here comes question two. It'll make you feel brand new. And this category is pictures of death. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Okay, look closely at this movie poster. What would be the best name for this movie? Pedicure Cemetery, the Texas Chainsaw Manicure. New care of the hands and nails is called a manicure. Damn, you broke my nail! How about it? We need a category. Put on your pens for the naked dance. Three. Okay, coming up, this category is... And a happy nude year. Get this right, get $2,000. Check this out. If someone says to you, Merry Christmas, they're wishing you Yuletide cheer. But if someone says to you, Merry Trismas, they're hoping you're enjoying your what? Radioactive hydrogen, wheat crackers, lockjaw, or altarpiece. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. If you have Trismus or Lockjaw, you have difficulty opening your mouth. Merry Trismus. You're a little oh, yours, pal. Okay, pick a category. Shake it up the floor. Shake it up the floor. The category. Damn it, the cake keeps burning. <laughs> 
This one's going to be $3,000. Get your fingers ready. Here's one coming at you. Wouldn't you know it, it's your year to organize a son's birthday party. Based on its age relative to its expected lifespan, what kind of tasteless party supplies should you get? Fake IDs, Clearasil, and boom. The sun is about 5 billion years old, with another 5 billion or so to go, so it's hitting middle age. <laughs> Soon it'll start growing sideburns, driving a sports car and hitting on stars half its age. Come on, we need a category. Number five. And we call this one Used Car Capitals of America. And this one's worth $2,000. Okay, buzz in and type in your answer when you know it. What word completes this poem? If I buy a car at the St. Paul Toyota, then it's a good bet that I'm in Minnesota. But if in Carson City for a used Granada, it's more likely I'm in the state of blank. Take it away! Sweet! Thank you for not thinking that Carson City is the capital of Carson. Alright, go ahead and pick one. The category is Moans and Bones. Two G's for a right answer. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. If Grandma wanted to improve her bone strength by increasing the amount of vitamin D in her system, which of the following is the best way to increase her vitamin D without changing her diet? Sleep under an afghan of pure alfalfa, crawl inside the carcass of a saltwater fish, expose her skin to the sun at a nudist colony, or bathe in a tub of... Human skin converts the ultraviolet rays of the sun into vitamin D. <laughs> Seeing Grandma naked converts the nudist colony into a lost colony. Hey, get back here. Where did everybody go? Take your pick. What do you say? This one's gonna be sassier than a little French maid. Two thousand bucks for right answer. Okay, imagine this. That lovable, drunken, lazy millionaire, Arthur, is up to his old tricks. Now he can't decide which tie to wear. If that lovable, crusty butler, Hobson, offers him Hobson's choice, what will he get? He'll get the oldest tie, he'll get the prettiest tie, he'll get the coffee stain tie, or... If you get Hobson's choice, you get whatever is most convenient or nothing at all. So Arthur has to take whatever is next on the rack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't feel bad for Arthur. For $750 million, I'll let someone else pick out my ties all day long. How about it? We need a category. Excellent choice. It's time to play Dis or Dat. And the category for this Dis or Dat question is... Cartoons should be seen and not heard. I'm gonna re- I'm Oh, all right, you already know how to play. Well, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's do it. Bugs Bunny, talks or doesn't... Snoopy! Pluto! Dopey! Papa Smurf! Roadrunner! Last one! Pink Panther! That's all seven! <laughs> what can I say? I got nothing to criticize here. Seven out of seven. There's a little sugar for you. Let's move on. Okay, pick a category. It's party time. Here comes number nine. The category is Jet Propulsion. All right, this one's not too tough. We're talking one grand for it. Hang on tight, because here we go. The 1991 film The Rocketeer is about a young pilot who becomes a jet-propelled hero to fight the Nazis. Now, if it were... Oh, darn. Double fault. Here's what you should have picked. Racketeering is the use of fraud or intimidation to extort money. Hey, you know, I don't think you was going to be needing that thumb no more. Now, ain't that right, Lucky? Go ahead and pick one. Hey, Master Blaster! Won't you find an answer? It's 
category. And how exactly do you give one of those? And this one's going to be worth $1,000. All right, fingers limbered, because here comes the question. You know what you're doing if you're taking a leak, but what are you doing if you're taking a leak? Urinating in Sweden, tacking against the wind across a canal, aligning your third chakra, or stealing the Welsh national emblem. Too bad you didn't choose this. The leek, the national emblem of Wales, is a vegetable related to the onion, so don't take them. Come back here with that vegetation, boy. Ah, our country is in ruins. Well, round one is done. Let's dive into round two. Okay, pay attention, because all the questions in round two are worth more money. Come on, we need a category. Category, let's do it. Social class and seating arrangements. And this one's worth $4,000. All right, here we go. On some airlines, you can choose to fly coach, business class, or first class. Suppose you had the option of flying plebeian class. If that were your choice, where would you most likely be seated? In a deluxe onboard penthouse in the co-pilot's seat. The plebeians of ancient Rome were definitely second-class citizens when compared to the patricians, so he'd probably get stuck in a lousy seat. Passengers, please restore your seats to their upright position, and plebeians, please stop tampering with the laboratories. How about it? We need a category. Twelve. And this question's category is, you big dummy, $6,000 could be yours. Okay, hang tight, put your fingers on your buzzers, here's the question. If you were to Sanferize Fred Sanford, what would you do to him? Clean him, flatten him, shrink him, or hollow him out? Now the correct answer is... Fabrics are often sanferized or shrunk before being made into clothing. Hey, you big dummy! I'm Fred G. Sanford and the G stands for get me back to my normal size! Okay, pick a... Take the elevator Alright, next up. No, I'm telling you, you stink. We are talking four big ones. Please, help me out here, because I can't remember this word at all. Now, when you know the answer, buzz in and start typing. You know, that, that guy Archimedes yelled it while he was in the bathtub. It's the state motto. Okay, let's... Uh. Eureka! Archimedes yelled it, gold diggers yelled it, and it's California's state motto. <laughs> Some people still debate exactly what Archimedes found when he was naked in the tub. Take your pick. What do you say? Remember in your dreams, 14. The category. Get your stomach ready to rumble. This one's worth $4,001 bills. Mike Tyson's boxing career has been masterfully handled by promoter Don King. Imagine that in a moment of genius, Don King decides to have Mike Tyson fight his next bout a la King. What will Mike have to wear into the ring? Melted cheese and broccoli, a chunk of herbed butter, cream sauce with mushrooms. In a word, no. Let me show you what someone smart would have picked. <laughs> cream sauce with mushrooms and peppers. I think that's also what Don King uses to get his hair to stand up like that. One. And this category is a partnership made in hell. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Okay, peel your eyes, free your mind, cause here we go. The old detective from Barney Miller plus Officer Poncherello equals what? Wojo and the man fish from Barney Miller and Ponch from Chips. <laughs> That would make a great show. And they could have a streetwise informant named Malt Vinegar. Come on, we need a category. Uh-oh, chess butt sits grime floor. 
It's time for a... Flicker Kiss Don't Stop. Here's a gibberish category. Great White Salad. And we're starting off with 10K on this gibberish question. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, and uh, I'm going to be taking away a little bit of cash every second and a half. Okay, thinking caps on. Now tell me, with what popular movie title does this rhyme? Gators love a tossed shark. And remember, don't get fooled by the punctuation. Okay, let's see. Type in... From Sharks to Arcs, a brief history of Steven Spielberg's movies. How about it? Okay, coming up, this category is... It's never easy to be a career woman. We got four grand on the table. Okay, take a shot at this. Imagine a rousing episode of Xena Warrior Princess in which Xena infiltrates the Amazons. According to legend, if Xena wants to blend in, what must she do? Burn off her right breast, cut her hair really short, wear a severed penis around her neck, or learn to knit. You know, I sense some real hostility around here. Shoulda picked this. To facilitate archery, Amazons were said to burn off their right breasts. Xena honey, strap on an asbestos maiden for me. Get the hell out of there. All right, go ahead and pick one. The category is Hollywood in the 16th century. Pop a right answer, you got 4K. Get your fingers ready. Here's one coming at you. If each of the following had lived in Shakespeare's time, who would have most likely played Juliet in Romeo and Juliet? Julia Roberts, Angela Lansbury, both Olsen twins, or Keanu Reeves? In Shakespeare's time, all the roles were played by men and boys. <laughs> Keanu doing Shakespeare would add a whole new meaning to Bill and Ted's excellent adventure. Take your pick. What do you say? This category is family programming and big guns. 4,000 bucks behind this one. Hey, remember that Brady episode where Bobby thinks Jesse James is really cool until he has a dream where Jesse shoots his whole family? Family programming. Anyway, suppose the Brady Bunch dream sequence with Jesse James were real. To be historically accurate, how might one of the Bradys end James's outlaw ways? Jesse chokes on Alice's cooking. A lovesick Jesse falls while chasing Jan. Bobby shoots Jesse for the reward money, or Sam stabs Jesse from behind with a cleaver. In that episode, Bobby played a member of James's gang in a dream, and in life, Jesse was eventually shot by one of his men for the reward money. <laughs> Like they say, when it's time to change, it's time to change. Okay, pick a category. Superstar. Your special. 20. And we call this one, wow, is this Orange Julius hot? This one's worth six grand. Check this out. If hell and Dante's Inferno were converted into Dante's Outlet Mall, what might you expect to find on sale down on level one? Gerber, unbaptized baby food. Benedict Arnold in Dante's Inferno. Unbaptized souls stay in the first level, called Limbo. <laughs> Along with those that can't get under the stick. Oops, he touched the floor. How about it? We Oh, you already know the way this works. All right, make sure your match fits this clue. You don't know Jack. Need I say more? Huh, <laughs> good luck.
game! Woo, you wanna lie down? That must have taken something out of you. Well, let me fill back up your electrolyte count with these words. You don't know Jack! Great show, uh, roll commercials, and uh, Cookie, what's going on here? Excellent, you're on the high scoreboard. Why don't you go on a nice little ego trip and then come back and tell me if you want to play again.